Hello friends, how are you guys? Hey, so um, I wanted to talk to you about something and since I wanted to talk about this subject, I thought I would show you what I was talking about. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually do a quick body shot and then I'll talk about it in a second because I don't think I've ever done a body shot with you guys. So anyway, I'm gonna stand up and back up a little bit so you can see what I look like. Okay. So, this is what I look like currently. So, I mean, I think, it, I think it's pretty good. I think I'm doing pretty good. But the reason I'm wearing this particular outfit is the whole topic of my talk. Now let me put this down, just so I could be a little more comfortable. Okay, so I want to talk to you guys about the big reveal, the, the moment where you have lost a lot of weight and you know that you've lost a lot of weight and now you're gonna see a bunch of people that have not seen you or are possibly not even aware that you've been trying to lose weight and how that sort of messes with our heads and how sometimes um, what we kind of think about in our own head isn't the reality of other people and how there are sometimes misperceptions about what other people are thinking about, <laughs> about us. So, so let me let me tell you the scenario. So, well, let me back up and say a little, little background about me first, just in, just in case this is your first time viewing one, one of my videos, and welcome if this is your first time, and all my new subscribers, hello, and all the people that have stuck through me, with me through all this, oh, thank you, you're awesome. Okay, but anyway, so my name is Jennifer. I am five feet, three and a half inches. I live in California. On January 23rd, 2017, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery, which is a weight loss bariatric surgery. My highest weight ever was 261 pounds. I am 11 or 10 months post-op. My current weight is the same as it's been for a little while. It is 172 pounds. So that is a... 89 pound weight loss since my uh, highest weight ever. But so let me let me talk to you about, about about this whole this this outfit and this outfit is actually not complete. So what happened? And as I'm talking to you, I'm gonna grab something so I can show you something. But what happened is in in my life, I've I've talked about this in in previous videos as well. Is um, I work at a at a, a government agency. I'll just I'll just say that it's a government agency. We are split up into different branches, and because we're a government agency, we are we do have a union, and I happen to be the chapter president of that union. We had a lot of union activity last year. And I mean, I had to do news appearances, uh, interviewed for the newspapers. So my face was sort of front and center. Now my entire staff, um, not my staff, my coworkers, the other members, absolutely supported me. And they were quite willing to uh, let me do all of the appearances. Uh, but I just want to mention the fact that I was 261 pounds in those videos and that was a real eye opener for me to see myself in that in that role and i am grateful that i had the confidence and the courage to do those things because one thing that i though i i had gained weight um i've talked about the fact that um <coughs> excuse me that i actually gained weight in a sh kind of a short amount of time due to some medical issues and so and sorry, I, I, but I want to bring up a picture to be able to show you guys so that you guys know kind of more what I'm talking about. And so a lot of my coworkers, so, okay, let me back up a second more. We are in two different branches. And so we have the, the branch where I work out primarily is on one side of the county. And then there, there's a, a larger uh, percentage of the, the staff works at a different branch, which, which is our main branch. And I work at, at, the, at the, a different branch. So when I, we were going through all of the, this union activity and the bargaining and the contract negotiations, 
I was very much um, located more in the main branch away from my typical workplace. And so I was around my coworkers. I was having, I was putting on meetings, like every, like almost daily meetings. So I was like front and center. I was front and center. And if you go back to my very, very first video, look at look at the way that I look and that's how I basically looked. I was actually, when my very first video, I was actually about 10 pounds less than I was when I was doing all of this contract uh, negotiations. But the thing is that a lot of people, my coworkers, they knew me as the, the old me before I was sick, the, the regular me, and they saw me gain the weight, and so then they saw me, and they but they saw me the most at my heaviest. Well, yesterday was our staff party, and I knew I'd be seeing a lot of people that had not seen me since my weight loss, or people that had no idea that I had even tried to lose weight. And so for me, it was like, oh, this is my big reveal. So I had actually planned out sort of thought up I I had not planned it out but I thought about what outfit I'm going to wear and all that kind of good stuff. Well then it, then one of my coworkers has this brilliant idea that we all dress up and we all buy these matching pajamas and show up at our big holiday court party in matching pajamas. So <laughs> that that was like for me it was like oh but I really kind of wanted to I felt like okay everyone's gonna notice everyone's gonna know that I've lost weight and so I want to look the best that I possibly can and I'm sorry about I keep messing with my hair my hair is actually still wet I just got out of the the shower and I, I actually have not done my hair yet well I don't really plan on doing it to be honest because I wanted to be home cleaning today but anyway so so this is as good as it is it's gonna get it's gonna get put up in a second so anyway so we buy these pajamas and I'm wearing the top. I'm not wearing the bottoms because it was, and I'll show you a picture, but um, it's red and white striped and the red actually started to bleed into the white and it started to like, my hands were like bright pink and it was, so I can't wear the, the pants again. Or I would have showed you what I look like, like in person. But let me show you. So, okay, so hopefully this isn't inappropriate for me to show, but this is a, this is a picture of me and some of my coworkers. And it's kind of a cute picture, but look at all of us. Can you see that? Can you see me? That that's me right there, right there. And so I I did it. I did it. And the thing is that um and it was a it was a huge hit and it was a hoot and everyone had a blast. The thing is that I had to struggle. I had to get past my own thought. And I got to tell you um ordering these pajamas as a group and having to 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 figure out what size pajamas should I buy and this is like a one-shot deal so I mean so was, I was thinking about it's that at that point when you realize that you know what I have not bought pajamas in this new size like what size would I wear and okay I wear this size top and this size bottoms and how does that translate to a, a piece of clothing that I have never purchased before I, that I haven't purchased as as this body type and so there was this huge discussion. And you know what I realized is it wasn't just me that was going through this. It was every single one of my coworkers was worried about how they were gonna look and what size to buy. And I mean, I can't tell you how much thought went into everyone's decision what size to wear. But what I realized is that I, we as weight loss patients, we're in our own little bubble. We're in our own mindset. We're thinking, okay, I've lost 90 pounds, everyone's gonna notice. Um, I have to be, I have to look perfect and if I don't look perfect, oh, I can't do it. I, I can't, I can't, I can't go to that party. I can't go to that function. I'm not at my goal weight yet. My body isn't exactly the way I want it to be. And the thing is, is how much life will we miss if we live our life like that? And regardless of whether you're still at your highest weight, whether you're at your goal weight, whether you're in the middle, where no matter where you're at, this is our only life. This is our opportunity to live this one gift that we have all been given. And so for me, it was like as much as half an hour before we were set to leave, I was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna wear my jeans. I'll wear the shirt, but I'll just wear my jeans. Um, oh, the pants are too tight on my on my bottom. I, I'm, in, I'm embarrassed. And my coworker, Thank, thank God for my coworker. Her name is Lupe, and I think I might have even mentioned her in past videos. She's the one coworker that I have at work that I have that I've shared with the fact 
that I have had weight loss surgery. And she's been so supportive and I just, you know, I'm so grateful for her. But she was like, you know what? We're all feeling that. And we got girls whose pants are way tighter and they're way more self-conscious because they bought, because the thing is the, these uh, pajamas ended up running really small. We all bought them together. We all received them together. Some of us hadn't even tried them on until literally yesterday. And they turned out to be a little see-through and all these little things. The thing is that... Um, I had another coworker who was having so much anxiety about it, she wasn't gonna wear the pajamas. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let her wear my my bigger size so that so she's so that she feels comfortable, so that she could do it. And I'm like, yes, I'm off the hook. I don't have to wear the, 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 the pants. I can get away with just wearing my jeans, and my jeans are a little loose, and so I feel more comfortable. And the thing is that my coworker, Lupe, she was like, no, you you let her deal with her stuff. You wear the pajamas. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, okay, well maybe I'll put them on and I'll just try them on and I'll just let, let like I'll show her and see. You know what? I end up taking my bag and I went into the bathroom. And as I'm changing, I can hear two of my coworkers in the bathroom uh, getting dressed as well. These are the two coworkers that are the prettiest you know, the most like perfect of the office. You know what I, you know, every office has like those, those gals and they're not at all conceited. They're not like, whoa, look at me. They're not that type of pretty. They're just naturally very pretty. They're very fitness oriented. Their bodies are very toned and just, and just naturally very, very beautiful women. I come out and I'm feeling like a frump because I got these pajamas on and they were so supportive and but the thing is what I heard is I heard the one gal putting herself down like saying negative comments about the way that she looked in these um, in these pajamas and I realized so much it was like the biggest like epiphany that you know we are the hardest critics for ourselves we are the ones looking at ourselves and looking at every little imperfection and every roll and every stretch mark and and every lump and bump and, and droop, because that's a lot happening right now, is a lot of drooping. And we're the ones that are noticing that. And you know what? I think, and I, this is going to be hard for some people to hear, it was hard for me to kind of accept, is that, I hate to say it, but I don't think people care as much as we think that they care or that they even notice. When I went to the party... I got more attention about the fact that I was part of this amazing group that all showed up in these pajamas. Not a single person noticed or mentioned my weight loss. And on a one hand, that's a victory because it doesn't come off like, you know, the fact that it, people saw me for being me, but I had worked it up so much in my mind that I couldn't, I shouldn't, I, I should be a certain thing. I should, I should dress a certain way when I'm going to meet all my coworkers again, and I still, I'm still the president of the chapter, and so I still hold a lot of authority, you know, with my coworkers. So, and they, they, they depend on me to doing right by them, and so I thought that everyone would, would remember the old me, and maybe they did. Maybe they had little discussions at their chairs, at their tables, because we weren't all sitting together. We all had individual tables, but they didn't necessarily say it to me. They just accepted me and were happy to see me and it was a wonderful time and I, I think that we really hold ourselves back and let me rephrase that. I have personally held myself back from participating in a lot of activities because of my fear of people looking at me, for people judging me, but you know what I realized is it was me judging myself. It was me criticizing my body. It wasn't coming from outside it was coming from inside so I just want to encourage you guys to step out appreciate the body you have live your life love your life and just live it to its fullest you know that's that's really my main my main thing I want to talk about I love you guys I don't even I don't I can't express how much you guys mean to me you are amazing what's what wonderful support you are I just wish you guys I'm sure I'll do another video, but you know, Merry Christmas to you. God bless you all. I just, th th this forum is such an amazing, amazing thing. And please keep doing all your videos. I love all your videos. You guys are doing great also. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.